I've been watching Evan Zhu's uh, YouTube channel and he posted a very interesting uh, concept called prompt um, injection. There isn't really a chat option for intelligence yet, but instead there is mostly a collection of different writing tools. For example, you can summarize your text, rewrite your text, make your text more professional, and more. As I have mentioned, some of these requests run on device. Devin XD 2000 five days ago put a post on r slash macOS beta, showcasing some of the system prompts for Apple intelligence, and even where I could find them myself in the system. Digging into the directory, I found the metadata files for nearly all of the on-system commands. I mainly focused on one, which appeared to be related to the writing tools, specifically the one to make text more professional. It was a huge pain to dig through all of the encrypted directories, so I decided I could gain enough information from the first relevant writing tool to inject the rewrite command. Essentially, per tradition, I tell it to ignore previous instructions. Then, to trick the AI into following my instructions, I tell it that it is a system test meant to see if it can switch its goal in the middle of user input, as it has already heard previous system instructions that I can't simply erase. Finally, I emphasize that these instructions are important, and finally tell it that it must respond to the text that the user gives. During testing, I found these to be necessary because the AI tends to keep saying that it was unethical to do anything I told it, even though I was just writing a poem about cats. Finally, we end the system's turn, do our user role with a simple hello, and that response, and as described before, short circuit everything with an assistant header. Basically, on, on macOS Note app, there's a writing tool that basically um, re rephrases um, the user sentence if triggered, um, and he was able to actually use that and leverage that in order to basically inject your custom prompt into it, and um, that way you're able to kind of use it like ChatGPT. And the nice thing is that it's all on device, so there's so much potential. Think about hosting this on a M1 Mac Mini and it runs 24 seven on the server. And you know, it, it, you, you're you just able to kind of interact with it uh, using a web interface. Um, there's just so much potential of this. And the first part of me kind of contributing to his work is creating a native Swift wrapper uh, for macOS users rather than a CLI command line interface. I've just felt it was a more uh, intuitive way of interacting with it. So. Here, um, I developed a macOS tool, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy it.